Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I'm Stylosa. This is more Battlefleet Gothic Armada and I cannot get enough of this game. Oh my god. This is a 600 point fleet battle. Now, what I've got to do is attack a space station. This is quite a good game. Holy hell. So, you can see I've got a battle cruiser. I've got cruisers. Well, I can have both cruisers and a battle cruiser at this point level. And I can also have a light cruiser and an escort ship. Now, my ships are pretty powerful. We've got a ton of abilities. We've got two Nova Cannons. We've got three Plasma Bombs. We've got Shield Recharges. We've got two um, Mini Warp Jump. I forget what they call them. Picard Maneuvers. That's what they are. <laughs> um, holy shit. They this game is much better than I expected it to be. And I've... I mean, I, I've just come off the back of like a 10-game win streak. I, I To say I'm pumped is, is an understatement. But I mean, when a game's this good, what can you do? Good God, look at that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. That's HMS Victory, that is, with all the macro cannons on the side. <laughs> and obviously the Nova Cannon. So the idea with this bit... Uh, well, this mission is you've got to destroy the space station. Now, this is all multiplayer, and you get given, at the moment you get given random missions, so you don't know what you're going up against. Which I'm hoping when the game actually launches, you can select what missions you want to do because you can tailor your fleets better in that regard. Because my fleet here, as you will see, is practically designed to take out a, a space station <laughs> because we've got two Nova cannons. So that means two long-range attacks. Nova Cannons do a lot of damage, however, they do scatter, so they're not accurate. Ship ready. Also, they can blow up as well on the ship when you fire them. It's only a small percent chance, I think it's 5% chance, but you can see this. I can see his deployment. Yes, Straight away, I go with an Alpha Strike. Two Nova Cannons. Blows up one ship. Blows up another ship. They were escorts. But two direct hits <laughs> with the Nova Cannon straight away. I'll Your take orders. that. Now, if you look at my other ships, like I just fired off um, the torpedoes uh, from my cruiser, well, my light cruiser. I also have torpedoes on one of yes, the, um, I think it might actually be on the battle cruiser itself. Understood. Although the battle cruiser and the cruiser, they, they're the same tonnage. They've just got different loadouts and different abilities. Like the battle cruiser at your command. can launch fighters. Um, although some cruisers can also launch Awaiting fighters. It's orders. kind of like a strange sort of... Um, Ship class. It's, it's the same as the class before, kind of thing. I don't know. It's mad. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm piling the plasma bombs out to try and get as much damage as enemy I can on the enemy ships before we get in there. Firing the Nova Cannons the off again, vessel. doing massive damage. The Imperials are not that long range, although these cruisers I've got, uh, some of them have got weapons which range up to 12,000, so that's pretty, pretty big. I think, to be fair, the guy I'm playing against, he's kind of... He shouldn't have come out to get me. But then when you're faced with such a devastating alpha strike like that, you're thinking, holy shit, we've got to go and engage. But, I mean, he's at a major disadvantage. The space station is solid, but we're not fighting by the space station. And I can sit out of range and bombard the station anyway. So he really had to come and get me. I, I hammered him there. I absolutely hammered him. I executed a high energy turn Understood. with that battle cruiser, and f I think with a battleship, sorry, and fired the Nova Awaiting Cannon because you can only fire the Nova Cannon in a 90 degree arc at the front of the ship. It's, it's beautiful. So, what I'm thinking now is okay, he's retreating back to the station. And your command. We'll just plaster it from range with all of our torpedoes. And we've got quite a lot of torpedoes yes, because Admiral. torpedoes just keep traveling, they don't stop. That ship, as you can oh, see on the right hand right. side there, it had I had the. Um, UI up for the... Well, you can see that for these ships. I'm I think I sent bombers. Yeah, I sent bombers against the space station. Your orders. Bombers are pretty good because they go through the shields, I believe. But... Course plotted. It's kind of like a long-range sort of attack. You can also deploy fighters. Fighters will protect your ship from incoming ordnance, so they'll shoot down torpedoes and stuff. Uh, or you can deploy assault uh, boarding vessels, which basically try and board the enemy ship. I mean, look at that. That is a massive torpedo spread there. But look at me, I've, I've set myself up. I'm playing tactically, I'm playing logically. The Emperor would be proud. And I'm shelling the space station with Nova Cannons, with all of my abilities. We're hitting it with torpedoes. We do, we're just doing a ton of damage. It's beautiful. But like I say, I do hope that you can select the missions you want to actually go on when the game launches. Because unbeknown to me, I actually built a fleet, which is really good for this mission. But might not be 
as good as as good at other mission types. So it was kind of look at the draw because I'm you know I'm not going to sit here and go I've outplayed this guy. Yeah, I have, but I've also had a a fleet which could rip his apart and has orders ripped his apart received. and also destroyed a space station. Oh well, will destroy a Awaiting space station. <laughs> I think I lose my escort though, so I'm yeah, uh, shouldn't have lost the lad. So I know he's he's there and I know that's his only ship. That wasn't a very good torpedo strike there I missed. Also, I always forget to use the uh, tactical cogitator. So if you press space, the game slows down. Re like it, it slows down for both people and you've got a timer. So you can only do it for a certain amount of time, then it runs out. It's great for lining up skill shots. I think I try and ram... No, I don't. No, he rams me. <laughs> but I... Jesus Christ, we're doing damage there. My escort ship just got killed. Unworthy! So I actually lost the generators there, and I've been boarded on my... Um light cruiser there which is which is which is irritating <laughs> although that ship is totally dead i decided not to carry on firing at it because i knew it was jumping out so i thought well i'll just leave it and i'll just focus on the station because the station is the objective this mission type does seem though if you've got long range bombardment you can hide bomb the station and wait for them to come and get you because there's no kind of downside you get what i'm saying um I could sit there and just fire the Nova Cannon and probably over the course of 20 minutes which I think was the time allotted to this mission it would eventually destroy the station and also keep firing torpedoes into it so yeah they would have to have a fleet built to take out torpedoes and something which could come and engage me maybe their own long range fleet actually that probably would make sense because then they could hit me while I was sieging them but then the Imperials are not that long range on the whole whereas Chaos is more long range suited and he was Chaos but as I say, I just had a load of abilities. I could fire at long range, did massive damage. I thought this was a good game to show, though, because it's the biggest fleet game I've had at 600 points, and it's... This game is just great. Holy hell. Ship ready. Reloading. Those little things by the station are defense platforms. They're not... Awaiting well, they do, they do attack you, but they're not that... I would ignore them. You know what I mean? They're not that dangerous. I just go straight for the space station. Boom! Awesome. This game is so good. My god. My god, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know what you think of this anyway. I'm going to keep putting out videos on the different mission types because I am enjoying the game. And it makes sense to make videos on the game that I'm enjoying. Um, but yeah, I want to see what you guys think. Because we've been burnt a lot, haven't we, with Warhammer games. And it's like Uncle Stylosa always says, he believes... 2016 is the year of the Warhammer game. <laughs> well, at least the Warhammer... Well, no, I guess the Warhammer game, full stop, because of Creative Assembly's game. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'm off to play more Battlefleet Gothic, and, up, well, level up my guys. Toodaloo!